Lesson 2. MongoDB Introduction. Open the Windows command prompt and start the server, change to the MongoDB bin directory and launch the MongoD executable. Open a second terminal window and start the MongoDB shell by launching the Mongo. By default the shell connects to database test on localhost. To switch databases type the following command. We can see a message verifying that we've switched databases. Inserting and selecting data. The command creates new object, document, with name John. The documents we store can have different fields, in this example, the documents have no common data elements. Let's create a employee collection and insert the two documents into it. To save those documents, we need to choose a collection to save it to. We saved it to the employee's collection. We did not predefine the collection. The database creates it automatically on the first insert. We can verify that the documents have been saved. The find method returns the inserted document. An ID fields have been added to the documents. We can think of the ID value as the document's primary key. Every document requires this value. We're allowed to enter a custom ID as long as we can guarantee its uniqueness. But if we omit the ID field, then a MongoDB object ID will be inserted automatically. The third document has been added. We can create a document and insert it into collection in one command. There should now be four documents in the collection. We can verify this by running the count command. We can pass a query selector to the find method. 
A query selector is a document that's used to match against all documents in the collection. To query for all documents where the name is Emma, we should pass a simple document that acts as our query selector. Updating data. Update command requires at least two arguments. The first specifies which documents to update, the second defines how the selected documents should be modified. Age property has been added. If we want to delete a age field we should use this statement. There is no the age field. Deleting data. If we want to remove only a certain subset of a collection's documents, we can pass a query selector to the remove method. If we want to remove all employees whose name is Emma, we should use this expression. There are no documents with them a name. If given no parameters, a remove method will clear a collection of all its documents. If we want to delete the collection along with all of its indexes, we should use the drop method. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com